When it comes to Boss audio amplifiers, we're yet to test one that hits its power rated specifications. However, some actually provide fantastic value in terms of cost per watt. Meanwhile, others are barely more powerful than a head unit. Which category do you think the AR1500M will fall under? It's one of the best selling amps on Amazon with a four star rating and over 1600 reviews. Stay tuned in a minute for our testing. Boss rates this Armor Series Class AB monoblock, 1,125 watts RMS at two ohms. Come on, boss. Over 1,000 watts RMS? Why are you always lying? And 563 watts RMS at four ohms. I love how at forums they give you a rating that's not a factor of five to make it seem like they're being honest. For $75, if this thing is anywhere close to spec, it's a bargain. Inside the box is a warranty card. User's manual. Hardware. Extra fuse. High level harness. Remote base control. With extension. And monoblock amplifier. This isn't the worst amplifier I've ever seen, but it's not blowing me away. The Big Boss logo kind of looks like a belt buckle. For adjustments, you get a bass boost, 0 to 18 plus dB switch. Low pass filter, gain control, and low high input switch. Plug the included remote bass control into its input to adjust levels up front. The amplifier offers flexibility when connecting to your signal source. Use the set of RCA inputs to directly connect to the RCA preamp outputs of your head unit or to a line output converter. Or use the included high level harness to connect to the speaker outputs on the wiring harness of your factory stereo. We recommend using 4 to 8 gauge power and ground wire. Be sure to check out our amplifier installation kits online at qualitymobilevideo.com, link in the bio. The first test we ran was at 4 ohms, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Boss rates the amplifier 563 watts RMS here. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. Our HPA903B audio analyzer picked up about 117 watts RMS, 0.96% distortion, and 21.5 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 105 watts RMS. We got 21.64 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 12.69 amps of current. Four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz. Our HP picked up 125.7 watts RMS, 0.96% distortion, and 22.24 volts of output. The AMM1 read 101 watts. We got 22.34 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 12.69 amps of current. At 4 ohms, the amplifier is well off rated specs. Down to 2 ohms, 14.4 volts, 1 kilohertz. Boss rates the amplifier 1,125 watts RMS here. If it hits 30% of that, I will tattoo I love Boss audio on my chest. Our HP picked up 209 watts RMS, 0.98% distortion, and 20.27 volts of output. The AMM1 read 171 watts RMS. We got 20.37 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 22.72 amps of current. Two ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz. Our HP picked up 186 watts RMS, 0.98% distortion, and 19.16 volts of output. The AMM1 read 171 watts RMS. We got 19.24 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 22.25 amps of current. Our final test was on frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. All tests were done with bass boost off. Should you get the Boss Audio AR1500M? Clearly, it fell very short of what Boss says it does. The amplifier only reached 22.2% of its rating at 4 ohms and 18.5% of its rating at 2 ohms. 
In terms of cost per watt, at 4 ohms you're getting 1.6 watts per dollar, and at 2 ohms you're getting 2.78 watts per dollar. At 2 ohms, this amplifier may be worth taking a flyer on at that cost. It'd be more than capable of powering either a dual voice coil 4 ohm subwoofer or a single voice coil 2 ohm subwoofer rated at 200 watts RMS. Be sure to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today at qualitymobilevideo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new, join the conversation below, and thanks for watching.